guys, it's Victoria Vesh here on another episode of Validated by Victoria. I have Daisy to my right. Not sure if you can see her, but I had to give her her own chair because she just takes up a lot of space. But it's been a crazy couple weeks. I just got back from Fashion Week. Oh, Daisy, Daisy, are you coming over here? You want to say hey to the camera? Come here. She's getting to be a big girl. Yeah, you're a big girl, aren't you? Okay, so I have Daisy on my lap right now. Brought her in the podcast studio today. She needed to join in. We had another dog on last week. Daisy was a little jealous, she told me, so we had to bring her in, right, Daisy? Anyways, I just got back from New York Fashion Week. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> Not kind of crazy, it was really crazy because I was in Charleston, and then I got like an hour and a half of sleep, and the guy I'm about to bring on the pod, he was in Charleston with me and a big group of influencers. His name's Jackson Olson. So you're going to hear like a fun interview with him today. And we kind of got a little wild. We kind of got a little crazy. And then I got like an hour of sleep, had to hop a plane at like 5 a.m., head to New York Fashion Week, teach a runway <laughs> class. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot. Teacher runway class. And then I modeled in like seven shows. And I was like, this is enough. If you remember my pod from like a couple weeks ago, I was talking about Miami swim week and how I did like 14 shows, never doing that again. That was, that was intense. That was a lot. So <laughs> seven shows was enough for me. And then I got to attend a really fun show called the runway of dreams, which was adaptive fashion. There was some really inspirational models there who've been through a lot, some who were veterans who had you know, lost an arm or a leg, and then some who just had grown up with disabilities. And it was just a really inspiring way to end like my fashion week, New York fashion week experience. Um, there's been like a lot of talks on like TikTok and Instagram, how fashion week was a little crazy, a little influencery. And I will say like, I went to an event and Daisy, wow, you're shedding. There was just like a whole thing of hair just like flew. But anyways, um, I went to this fashion week event and it was a party that I got invited to and I showed up and they were so rude and I'm not gonna name the brand, but they were so rude. I was literally, my friend and I were on the list. They made me do a post and everything. And I go show up at the event. It was just a cluster. So all those people talking on TikTok and Instagram and all the social media platforms about how like New York Fashion Week parties were a cluster. That was like the epitome of it. And that was my first night there. And I was so upset because I had literally had gotten no sleep. And then I showed up at this party that I was supposed to show up at that that they like made me post and everything to be there. And I like couldn't even get in. And they're like, you have to go to the back of this line. The line was like wrapped around the building. And I'm like, dude, I'm an influencer. I posted for you guys. This, like, this sucks. So I just like, stood there for five minutes and my friend Allison and I were like, yeah, we out. But that was like the epitome, I guess, of all the fashion week parties. But I didn't go to like any other shows. I just went to the runway of dreams. And, you know, I really enjoyed that show and it was put together so well and it was so inspirational. So I'm really glad I rounded out my fashion week experience with that. But in terms of this guest who's coming on today, everyone knows him. If you haven't been on TikTok, like, I mean, if you're just out of touch, you don't know like the Savannah Bananas, like, where have you been? Have you been hiding under a rock? Cause like even my dad who like doesn't have social media knows of the Savannah bananas. I like was hosting an event and I was like, we have to have a Savannah banana come because they're like just so trendy. Jackson's like the Savannah banana. And I asked him to come on the pod. We were going to film a pod in like Charleston, like a live pod, but things got so hectic. We were like all drinking because it was just, it was me, Josh, Becca Moore, if you know, Becca Moore for the girls only and Josh Martinez from the challenge and big brother. We have Moira and Trey from love Island there. And we all kind of got a little crazy. We all kind of drank a little too much. So it was just really hard to film a live pod, but I have asked Jackson to come on and I am running behind. Daisy's getting off my lap now. She's kind of sick of me talking, but I am running a little bit behind. And I told Jackson, per usual, waiting on a woman. So I really hope you enjoy this interview with Jackson Olson. Jackson, what is up? <laughs> it's a really what great intro. I already introed you. So I just feel like I just say, what's up? Yeah. How yeah are you I, don't, doing? I don't know what the intro was, but I, I was we'll... like, if you've lived under a rock and you haven't heard like the Savannah bananas, like you guys are everywhere. You're everywhere. Cause you always pop up on my feet. I told you that <laughs> it was so creepy. 
I'm like, I don't even know who this guy is. This was like before we met and you're like showing up all over my page. And I'm like, is this the universe saying we should be friends? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. So how's life been? I already told like intro that like you were in Charleston. We were drinking a lot. <laughs> we partied hard. Partied hard. Yeah. 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 So how's life been? You're back in LA. Tell me what's up. Nothing. I'm just uh, getting ready to go back to Savannah for um, a fitting day. So we yeah. have, uh, we just got sponsored by Wilson, Louisville Slugger, and Evo Shield. So we're getting all custom bananas gear. Um, it's like a massive deal they signed. So um, we're going to get like bananas logos on everything, our names on everything, everything customized. We're getting like eight jerseys. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy. So I'm going there to, or October 10th. And then right now I'm just like training that's it. That's all. That's my life right now. Just training. I don't really, I don't care for like, obviously we partied and, and uh, Carolina, but like, it was never, like I a little break, you know, we just like had a little fun like time and then start work again. I feel that. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. cause I went to fashion, literally I slept an hour and went to fashion week. That was insanity for me. I should not have done that. That, that is brutal. And you had to like actually do a lot more than you were doing. I had a teacher runway class that morning. All these like little models were so excited. And I'm like, <laughs> and I showed, cause my agent was there and I was like, so this is what happened last night. And I showed them the video. We won't show it. I showed them the video of you <laughs> and the oh. vodka. Um, great video of you. We have some blackmail, but, um, or I can use it. So we had this joke that of Jackson Olson fan fiction or what is it? Fan fiction. <laughs> fan fiction. <laughs> I still have yet to make it because I don't want to be creepy, but I might be creepy and make it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Because I have so many videos of like um, everybody, but like a lot of you. <laughs> I'm like, why do I have so many <laughs> videos of Jackson? It's just like very creepy on my phone. <laughs> but I showed my agent that video and she like looked at me and I like looked at her. I was like that TikTok where you're like looking at each other and she's just like, well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, hi, <laughs> welcome. I like rolled up with um, like things under my eyes because I was I was I was a dead weekend, and I had to model and like try to look cute. All right, so you're getting fitted. Um, what else is going on? You've been making content, uh, making content every day. I mean, I don't really change my schedule. I, I kind of have the same schedule every day, and it's a very simple. I lead a very simple life, and. <laughs> What is your schedule? What's your daily routine? If you're going to like film one of those like routine TikToks, like what is it? Yeah. Um, I wake up and I go to the gym at 8 a.m. Then I go hit. So you went to the gym already? Yeah, I already went. (sighs) Fancy. (laughs) And then I, oh, I eat breakfast and then I work and then I go to the batting cage and I hit, I throw, and then I come back, make TikToks. And then that's it. I don't like, I feel like I'm at a point where I just want to have a sound routine. I've been traveling for the last five months and I've been in 28 cities in the last four months and making content everywhere I go, going to baseball stadiums and just like sensory overload. Mm -hmm. So now it's nice to finally like have a strict routine of like, this is what I'm doing tomorrow. Like I know I'm doing this tomorrow, (laughs) but there are obviously like things happen where sometimes a day goes differently than you expect it to. But I try to stick to like, the same thing for the, at least this month. <laughs> at least this month. I feel that because I've been, I, we talked about this in Charleston, like I've been traveling just as much as you. And then it kind of gets hectic and it re- messes up your body a little bit. <laughs> yeah. The time zones too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I forget. He's in LA. How's LA? Right it's now? good. It's good. How's um, the weather? The weather, the weather is just amazing. Like it, no, Florida's better. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> no. Well, it, the thing is, it's like, it gets, it's cloudy in the morning until like 9 a.m. And then it just clears up and it's complete blue skies, no humidity. It's like 85, but it feels just like you don't feel the weather, if that makes sense. Like everywhere else, you'll feel something here. It's like you're just in indoors with AC. It like doesn't, it's weird. <laughs> you'll feel something. No, that it's a, that's a legit thing. Ask anyone here. You don't feel anything when you're walking around here. Like, oh yeah, people in LA don't feel anything. 
All right. <laughs> I I mean I don't hate LA, but if if I had to choose, I would stick to Florida because I love Florida. But are you like an LA boy for life? No, 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 no. I, I mean, I like other than the weather. I mean, I like. I haven't gone out really here, and the few times that really? I have, the few times that I have, like literally in seven months, I've gone out like th- maybe max three times. But you've been traveling, so I mean, like how? Yeah. How much have you been like slept in your own bed in the past whatever seven months? Less than ha- so, like I moved here in January, and I've slept in my bed, um, like literally less than half the nights that that's insane oh that's insane but I feel that like I understand that life and like traveling and I love it like I want to change it for the world now you probably want to change it either it's like made you who you are but sometimes I'm like I got back to my bed because I drove literally from North Carolina I saw my dad this weekend I drove from North Carolina back to Florida horrible drive and I got back to my bed and I was just like um I had the most peaceful sleep (laughs) Yeah. The best sleep I've had because I've been in hotel rooms for the past. I don't know. I slept in more hotel rooms this year. You probably are the same than my own bed. Yeah, same. Yeah. Literally. Same. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Weird intro, but like, anyways, tell us about yourself. Cause, but I mean, like, I feel like everyone knows you. When you went to Charleston, he had like so many fangirls. They're like, oh my God, I slid in your DMs. And like, people just loved you. You're like, a, like, you were more of a celebrity there than the reality stars in Charleston. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. So, like, how'd you, what, like, when was your first TikTok? Like, how'd that get started? Um, I started it in 2019. I posted, like 30 videos, my first 30 videos did terribly. And, um, that was when I started getting a little animosity from my teammates and they were kind of like, what, what are you doing? Like, this is weird and whatever. And, and you I went to Stetson. Kids. Sorry. I'm in. So I went to Har- university of Hartford. Okay. Before, before that, I um, gather up the shirt. And that was my senior, my senior year is when TikTok really started and no one else was doing it. Like, yeah, there were people doing it, but it wasn't like a real thing yet. And, um, no one on my team even knew what TikTok was. And then I was just posting videos. They were doing terribly. And then eventually one hit and then two hit and then three hit. And ever since like early 2020, I've posted 1500 videos probably. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. But you post like every day. I see it. (laughs) Believe me. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. I put that's, you have to, I get bombarded with your TikToks. And I get bombarded with your Instagram reels. Like it shows up. It's like, hmm, let's just see what Jack's. I'm like, I told him, I think I'm like the first person to watch your story. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I mean, you've blown up. You have like loyal fans though. Yeah, it's cool. I know know when I make videos now, I'm making them obviously because I like them. But then I think I'm like, hey, let's see if like, 11 year old Max who always comments on my videos. Like, is he going to like this video? Or, like, is he going to appreciate Max. it? And so like, no, literally I know like there's a kid that follows me a lot. He's 11 years old. His name is Max. He plays baseball. He's a third baseman. He's number two. Like oh, I know. That's so sweet. And like, that's what you have to do. Like all these TikTokers, I'm not saying anything bad about them, but like they don't care about the people that watch them and they just think they're famous and they think they're like big time. No, you're not big time. You're not, no one, no one is big time enough to be like, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to comment back to these people. Like that's the, they're the reason that you're where you are. And like, like in order to grow, you need those loyal fans that started with you to grow with you. That's so true. Those fans turn into more. And obviously you can't respond to every comment, but like you have to acknowledge that they're people and not just a number that's viewing your stuff. That's so true. I mean, you're in LA. You probably run into some like influencers that kind of have that attitude, attitude. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. There are some, there are good ones too, though. I know. Like, there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot, like, I feel like influencers, and you don't like being called an influencer. We already talked about that, I feel like, last, yeah. a couple weeks ago. Um, but there are some people who are like, they get a bad rap. I feel like there's always yeah. bad eggs, like in any industry, and they just make a bad rap for everyone. But, Everyone I've met lately, like you including, is just, they're just amazing, good hearted people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that you, the people that I love watching the most on TikTok actually show like that they're vulnerable and they show that they care about other things other than like 
how they're looking today or how, like how people are perceiving them. And like yeah. the people that just don't care and just leave it all out there. Like those are the people that I genuinely respect on yeah. TikTok, where it's like, they just show who they truly are. And like, that's why I like the app be real because you can't edit it. Mm. <laughs> and people are just like showing exactly what they're doing. If they're laying, you taught bed, me how to be real. <laughs> They what? You taught me how to be real. Remember, you're like, no, 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 you're not doing it right. And I'm like, oh my God. Well, I thought I, I was I doing love it right. That. I love, love like when people are authentic because then that Just rubs off on me too. And then I become, yeah. I try to like emulate a little bit of that. Well, I think like social media is changing to be like more authentic. Like you see more authentic yeah. people like blowing up now, which I like. Like a people who have like, other jobs other than just like posting their outfits on Instagram. Um, so, but who are you like a fanboy of? Like, you're like, oh my God, I'm starstruck if I meet this influencer. No influencers. There's not one influencer where I'd be starstruck. Um, okay. Not Brew on the more, radio because we said that you look like him. <laughs> I've already met, I met Brew. Brew is really, he's really cool. And he's one of those guys that's genuine and he posts authentic content. Yeah. And like, it was so cool meeting him because I felt like I was meeting like myself i know because you look literally like a twin i know well also that yeah we also look similar um but yeah like um brew and then other people like i don't know if anyone knows this guy but his name's old time hockey and he makes these real he lives in the up in michigan and he makes these really like calm videos of him like making food or like playing nintendo or something and it's just like (laughs) very and he has two really cute dogs um my dog's sleeping and it's right like here. Very, really? <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> and it's very just like calming. Like whenever I'm like, I go through a day where I'm doing a lot of stuff and then I just watch him and I'm like, I can relax. So it's like ASMR. So yeah, it's literally ASMR, but like uh, your brain. someone doing stuff in real life. Like it's so cool. I'll have to check it out because I've, I've never seen that. I, I assume we have wildly, wildly different for you pages, except mine always shows you like it literally is all, it's like fashion TikTok and then Jackson, another TikTok and Jackson, another There's TikTok and Jackson. Not, I'm like, oh I'm my not. God, do I have to click? I'm not interested. Yes, you do. Whenever it shows up, uh, is this, do you like this video? You know, the when it like shows up, like, do you like this video? It's like, yes, no, like indifferent. I'm going to put indifferent. I always say no. I always say no. <laughs> like, I don't like this video. I feel like he does that to my, all right. Well, okay. We're going to transition. I feel like in all your interviews, you just like, cause you did like three podcasts while I was with you. And I feel like all you talk about is probably baseball and like TikTok, right? Um, that's what people ask about. Yeah. So that's what I talk about. If it, like, if people ask me other things, I would answer it, but that's all that people ask about. And I love talking about it. So it I mean, well, is there other things in your life that you like wish you could talk about? Um, not really. I think when you're <laughs> obsessed with something and you're like, you are all in, like I'm, I'm beyond all in on baseball, TikTok, Savannah bananas. Like there's nothing that could steer me away from any of those three things right now. So like, because I'm so obsessed with it and it like incorporates everything that I love doing, it's like, that's really all that I'm thinking about. And I'm but you're happy doing like, it. You seem so I'm happy. Beyond, beyond happy. I've never yeah. been happy in my life. And like the fact that I get to play for this team when for the last two years, I've been having to do everything alone by myself, making TikToks alone. And then I meet this group of guys that like accepts me and also wants to make TikToks. And like, I came in there and they were all like, all right, but well, we should like, we should collab on this. Like maybe this video would be cool to make. And it's like, that's, that's where I'm happy. Like that's my zone. Like that's my wheelhouse right there. Yeah, so. and it, you said you were like kind of hated on when you were like making TikToks with your like teammates and now you have like teammates who are like yeah so supportive of you and supportive of what you do and they like join in your TikToks like I think that's beautiful I feel like I feel that because from my like little hometown or even in Charleston like you kind of are like oh my god that girl's making a TikTok again like I used to kind of get like the side eye like yeah. oh my god she's posting again she has another photo shoot like this girl and then I come to Florida whole new ball game I mean you go to LA and I meet some now my like best friends and like that's what we enjoy doing and I feel so much happier being around those people is not like I am hating on the town, but it's hard when you're like in those mindsets and you can't like, yeah. And it's hard to be creative fist. then. Like it's, yeah. it's hard to create content when you have people that aren't creative and they're dragging you down. It's like, all right, now I have, now I walk in the locker room 
and Dan Oberst, first baseman, uh, Ryan Cox, shortstop, Dalton Malden, everyone's like, hey, we should do this video. Like, they already have videos set. And it's because, like, we're all so, we all collaborate so well together on the field, playing the actual game of baseball, and then, like, off the field, too. And yeah, really cool. I was going to say, off the field, you guys get along. Like, you guys are all very uplifting, because I see, like, I feel like I'm friends with a lot of, like, the bananas, and I see, like, all your stories, and you all, all hype each other up. And just, like, when it's, like, girls supporting girls, you like seeing guys supporting guys, too. Yeah. It's not yeah, like you exactly. see a lot of shade, like getting thrown around on like social media about a lot of people, but like, yeah. it's nice to see that. And even like you saw me, wait, where are they? Um, my, uh, my pearls. Oh my gosh. It's like, Guys, oh, I got, I got this from sugar mom. I'm just like, <laughs> but he was talking about freaking pearls because everyone on his team had pearls and like he did it. And like, he talked about it a million times. And then I go to my friend's like boutique in Charleston, my ears to heart. And like, I forgot she had all those like kind of crazy because she had yeah. she was like sponsoring an EDM festival. So she had like a bunch of like crazy jewelry and she still had it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, here's for you. Here you Better go. Not. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's them. And it's like our whole team wears them. So I'm like, this is hey, just now you got it. Thing. Now. Now you're like officially initiated in the team. Initiate. Yeah, that was my initiation. Getting the pearls. <laughs> and what did they say when you got the pearls? They're pumped. I sent them all a picture immediately. I was like, I have to show them. To. <gasps> were they like, finally, he's in? Yeah, they were like, about time. God. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to talk about one more. This is like the last topic. And I bet you've never talked about this ever, but <laughs> we'll make you uncomfortable here. And we're going to talk about dating because we always do <laughs> on my pod. <laughs> we always talk about dating. We don't have to like say anything you don't want to say, but you're single, right? I am single. How long have you been single? I know, I see, I know all the answers to these questions, but I'm just like keeping it inside. Um, like set six, seven months. And you told us about your ex and I was like, I've never heard of her. Becca had heard of her. You showed us videos. I was like, this is very interesting, but I feel like it will. <laughs> I still haven't seen the videos. I want to see like the videos you took together. I've, and you said people made like fan. They were good. You they people, were good. yeah. Well, you, I think you showed me like a, Rebecca showed me like an, another like one that you made, but you had like fans making like that were sad that you broke up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's how you like, know I have yeah. loyal fans. That? That's how you know I have loyal fans. But okay, I'm not gonna lie. So you posted something on Instagram, and I got like a million DMs. You what? I got a million people sent me your latest reel. Cause not a lot of people. I mean, my my friends and like fans, I guess, are still transitioning to TikTok. But yeah. on Instagram, and they sent me your latest reel, and they're just like side eye. <laughs> was it the greatest, the greatest showman one? <laughs> and they're like, "What is this about?" And I'm like, "I don't know. What is that about?" That whenever I make dating, whenever I make like um, relationship TikToks, they're always fake. They're just like I knew. I, it. I told him I was like, "Look, I do it too. Like I'll like post about medium ugly guys all the time because I just think it's hilarious." And like my friend yeah, and I and it, it, talked it, about it, and everyone's like, "You're talking about me," and I'm like. No, unless it applies to you. I don't really know, but no. Yeah. Um, it, it kind of brings in like the self, like I love self-deprecation. Like I love making fun of myself. Yeah. And so that, that kind of just like works. It's like I pick the three things that I love doing. Like the three things that I love the most, eating junk food, watching The Greatest Showman and playing for a dancing baseball team. I don't know. I Adding think there's a deeper And I'm like, and making it seem like girls won't like it. And it's just funny. It's just and then like you a, have all like, these girls commenting like, oh my God, I would like it. Let me be your girlfriend. Like, we can watch the greatest showman together. And I'm like. The other, so the other thing about that is that I also have a plan with those TikToks. So mm. the plan is not for girls to be commenting, saying like, oh my gosh, like date me or whatever. It's so people find out what I do, like what my, what I love doing. So then when I post the video yesterday about like, what team I play for. And it was like a, it was a montage of all the great, like coolest Savannah banana moments. And it's like, then people see that video and they're like, Oh wait, that's the dancing baseball team he's talking about in the last video. So like it all, every video kind of like feeds off the last one where so you just have a strategy. People, yeah. One I, try of to make those. Know, I try to make people like Calculate. know who I am without telling them who I am. Mm, we all love that. Well, I got sent that video like 40 times by friends. And they're like, side eye. 
because obviously we met two weeks ago and I was just like, I think I know how this game works. He's not talking about anyone. He's just I'm making something anyone. so he can have all his girlies comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it at all. Yes, it is. I get then I would, then I would try the, to look attractive. The next, that. The ne like, did anyone do at you with like a greatest showman? <laughs> so someone had a greatest showman costume, I would marry them on the spot. <laughs> they like wore it in the, if they wore, cause I wore my- I'm duetting. Costume. I'm going to buy one right now. I'm duetting <laughs> it. And then I'm just going to cause some controversy. But you have to do exactly what I was doing. You have to be eating Nestle Toll House cookie dough and with whipped cream on top. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. I'm doing that today. Do it. The costume was very expensive, so just beware. I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to make you any more uncomfortable and <laughs> talking about dating, <laughs> but you're like so focused on the Savannah Bananas thing. You got like, you have a whole season ahead of you, so. And yeah, you're going to be like in Savannah, full, like more than year. LA or? I'm moving out of LA. I'll be gone. So, so you're moving out of your apartment right now? Well, my lease ends March 1st. I'll be here until January. Um, well, actually, when I go home for Christmas, that's probably the last time I'll be here. Um, oh, so sad, but new beginnings. Then, it's about to be exciting. If you, yeah, if, you know, if, you, if you know of anyone that needs a place to stay in LA for two months, let me know because I'm going to be paying re two rents at the same time, which is brutal. I'll ask around. <laughs> I know some girlies. They'll wear a greatest showman outfit. Maybe you can give them a discount. Discount, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well... Thanks, Jackson. I know you're so busy, but I'm glad because we were supposed to do the pod in Charleston and then we were just a little tipsy every day. So that didn't work out, but I'm glad it worked out now. And I'm sorry I was late. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You're well, good. I, I appreciate you. Follow Jackson on TikTok, Instagram, if you don't already. I feel like everyone does. So if they're like, anything like me that you show up on their for you page, even if it's like fashion TikTok, like which is what I'm on, but. <laughs> that's not me i'm not that but somehow your little greatest showman coat pops up so somehow they must that's consider that fashionable but fashionable. thanks jackson i hope you have a wonderful day in la and Thank i'll keep you. up with you we'll talk soon awesome talk soon all right bye <laughs>